Hello everyone, uh, my name is Kwan. Uh, today I will explore the shader in SceneKit uh, framework. Uh, I will testing out some of the command in the shader modifier. I will start with this simple script. Uh, in this script, uh, basically we create a scene. Uh, we add the camera node and uh, we put the object on. So if you run it, we, uh, we see a cube and the airplane. So I will start from here. Uh, on this one, we make the uh, color of the cube red by this command. Cube geometry first material, diffuse content, UI color red. Uh, now if you want an image uh, for a cube, then uh, we use the same command, but we use the IU image. So we import the image, then we use IU image, and that's what you see. Now if you want to both the color and the image in the cube, then uh, you use the little bit more formal way. Here, first you create an array called S materials, then we loop two sides. And you can have six sides. Okay. For now I use two sides. Let me run first. Then if I equal one, we put color and two equal image. If you run it, you can see that So three side has a color magenta, the other side, three side has an image. So you get a loop, you can have one to six for six uh, size of the cube. Okay. And uh, we create a uh, let material, SCN material, yeah. then we diffuse this one, then we append to the material array, then finally we uh, put into the cube by keep geometry material equal materials. Uh, I just add this statement in. Uh, this is the uh, shader, fragment shader. If I run it, you will see that uh, I have a multiple uh, face with different color right now. See, this one come from there. Uh, the mag magenta color from there too. But the uh, yellow color is not here. But you can see where's the green color come from. It come from here. And here is a statement of the shader. Um, so this command basically the shading down. And let me delete some of the stuff. Let me delete uh, this. And run it. Now. Uh, if you look, if you look, notice uh, the cube here. I don't put color in. If I run it, you will see the color come from green. Well, the green come from here. Here's my shader, okay? My fragment shader. Uh, basically, there's an output color RGBA vector, and this is three color RGB. So right now, G equal one mean green. Right, right now I put alpha equal 99. Then finally on the material shade modifier, I call the shade modifier entry fragment. And remember there's a for this command. Here I just use one and I call my shader from here. If I run it, you can see see the green come from. The color come from the fragment shader here. Uh, I can make this guy alpha uh, very low so we can see you see right now the part uh, of the airplane go inside the green cube you don't see anything so I make it a little bit more transparent for the cube so you can see the airplane yep right now so this one's alpha So this is a way that you can color a uh, geometry uh, using the uh, shader. And this is very simple shader. Okay. 
Uh, first, we define the shader. Uh, if you notice that uh, is the shader here is always end with a new line. Okay, and a plus. So this is string. You can put the string together. Then we call the material. Here we call the material from here. Shade modifier. Then this command called shade modifier entry point fragment. Uh, there's few command here. Here we just use entry point fragment. And we call the shader. Uh, I just create a new new line shader too. Basically the same as shader, but I don't use the plus sign. I put everything into one line. So in this case, I uh, let's say I make shader two. So red, green, blue. Right now I mix the red and green. It should become yellow. Shader two. I don't use the shader one. This one. Yellow. I see some transparent because we set it transparent almost to zero here. Let's take the latest one. So right now we don't use any color. So we, if we run it, we see, see the key come gray. So here we just I just uh, add the color from the fragment shader you see yellow and this is the fragment shader you define it then you call in big shape modifier in this case we use entry point fragment uh, remember remember there's a few command here four command we just use one entry point fragment we just use this one uh, I just add the creep in. So I just add uh, this line. Uh, basically, I create a second creep, this smallest creep. And I put the uh, up there, big Y equal 5. Then I, let's say I want to change this guy, the green equal 0.5. Now I want to put this smaller creep inside the big creep to see what happens. So this color is basically uh, I set uh, RGB red 0.5 green 0.5 that's why you get that color. Uh, as you can see that uh, the smaller cube is you can see this we can see the smaller cube inside, but uh, we don't see the airplane go inside the smaller cube. Right? It's a block. So this is just a basic of the shader. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, for the shader code, we can put directly under this command rather than create shader two. So we just uh, basically bring the content shader two. So let's see run. Okay. Uh, let's say just uh, just add on the next uh, entry point geometry. Uh, this is very simple. Uh, basically, x gonna position gonna increase with time. So if I hit enter, see right down here. If I Let's redo. This is entry point geometry. So basically, it changes the shape of the So now we have uh, entry point fragment, uh, entry point geometry. We com can combine the two together. Uh, on this uh, shader modify, we combine the uh, uh, entry point fragment and entry point geometry together. If you run it, you will see that uh, you 
you see that uh, the uh, point geometry make the clip longer why the alpha is from the fragment shader so basically this is a fragment shader and this is you can call it vertex shader so we combine them together let's rerun see the cube got longer because of, of the vertex shader I just rewrote uh, this statement here. Basically, I define my fragment uh, vertex shader separately and my uh, fragment shader separately. Here, I call both at the same time. This is similar to this. Reason you write this in this format because sometimes the uh, shader command you put outside into a file. See you on the next video. Uh, I just experiment with the side new time, so you will see the keep uh, kind of toggle around. Because side, the result of side here between zero and one. That's why you see the keep go back longer, shorter, longer toggle. You can make it. Uh, X Y direction. That's right. You can see that the X Y direction is toggling in size, and so you can put the Z in here too. So the tree side to keep uh, moving, changing the vertex size. Uh, I just changed the uh, fragment with the alpha as a function of time. Similarly, the red color as a function of time. So we run it. You see the color change and also the uh, transparency.